In Project Community tonight, a new art installation is about to open in downtown Plattsburgh. NBC 5's Benny Nazai shows us how the gallery is a look, uh, is a look at different diversities from different perspectives. Elizabeth Marquez is one of seven different creators featured in a new exhibit at Plattsburgh Strand Art Gallery, eloquent visions honoring the rich tapestry of black artistry. Her work includes paintings and sculptures depicting royal kingdoms that used to exist in Africa centuries ago. Marquez calls it a forgotten part of history, and she aims to educate people through her creations. It was a, a very widely uh, respected, you know, type of culture over there. And now that it has sort of been disbanded over the years and centuries, people tend to forget. So I would like to bring it back into the forefront. This diverse group exhibition aims to highlight black artists with various artistic mediums displayed in the gallery, from paintings and sculptures to 2D work and mixed media. Some of the artwork will be available to buy, while other pieces will stay in the strand only for the public to view. Winosha Steele, originally from the Caribbean, now works at the strand while also creating her own pieces of art. She says it's very important to showcase this work, especially during Black History Month. I do feel like it's important to showcase that there are people of color here and more than you may think. And um, we are creative and we are expressive and our art shows more than meets the eye. Artist Thomas Green recently moved to Plattsburgh from New York City and opened up his own tattoo parlor downtown. He hopes his abstract work will bring more attention to art in northern New York. I think it's important for small communities like this to actually raise more respect and awareness for maybe kids in the North Country who actually want to go to art school and want, to, want their art to be appreciated on a higher level. And the artists involved hope visitors will not only show interest in their work, but that it'll start a conversation. I really hope that people encourage more people to come and I hope that they will ask questions and not hold their tongue because they're afraid of like offending or anything like that. We just want inclusion. We really, really just want to be a part of the place that we call home and a place that uh, we respect and admire. Eloquent Visions is free to the public starting Friday with an opening reception from 5 to 8 p.m. and will stay open until Saturday, March 23rd. In Plattsburgh, Benny Nazai, NBC5 News.